who would you rather have president, uh, Joe Biden or Vladimir Putin? Oh, Putin. Definitely. And, and, wh and why is that? Um, I believe he's been given a tough... Uh, since, since World War II, uh, Russia's been the bad guy. When in actuality, the Nazis left Germany and they ended up going to the Ukraine, coming in here. George Bush was, was actually... Thank you. George Bush was actually a Nazi. My name is Ralph Revant and I'm running for the governor of Michigan. I'm a pastor, but I'm running on bringing God back into culture because I'm convinced that if we don't get God right in this next election, nothing will matter. Bringing God back to Michigan, um, what would that look like? Would there be religion taught in schools? Uh, there would be, uh, as our founder said, the Bible should be the basic textbook in scripture, I mean in schools. Are there books that you don't want to see in schools? Uh, I would remove the pornography. But we need to ban, we need to ban books that, that have porn, pornographic imagery in them, right? Yes, okay. yes. Because so, we, somebody was telling us about a book that had like two daughters getting their dad drunk and having sex with them. Yeah, I knew you were going that way. I knew you were doing that. Yeah, it's yeah, a good point. So you're saying ban the Bible in school? Uh, no, I'm not saying ban the Bible in school. I, I get where you're going with your questions. Right, because it's, but, cause it's a, you, you're saying yeah, anything that has a pornographic image should be banned, and the, there are some images in the Bible about, you know, sex and incest and things like that. So it sounds like you're saying we should ban the Bible. Uh, what I am saying is that the Judeo-Christian principles under which our country is founded need to be brought back into culture. And I, that, I can't state it any more clearly than that. Um, and if when, that when means I, banning the Bible, so be it. The Bible would not be banned from culture or... From the schools. I'm just saying the schools. Protect the kids. No, I... If Joe Biden or Vladimir Putin were running for president of the United States in 2024, who would you vote for? Well, not Joe Biden. <laughs> <laughs> uh, that goes to show how, uh, you know, how warped, you know. Putin at least has uh, some principles. <laughs> For my, you know, what are those? outside view, uh, he, he loves his country, you know, he loves his country. Very similar to Trump in a sense. What are you doing here today? We are here to secure the vote. And this is to stop people from voting without IDs in the state of Michigan. And uh, I, your face paint, I was wondering, why do you have the face paint on? Well, I was going to uh, dress up today, but it didn't work out. So, uh, do, you, do you feel like you relate to Donald Trump? He wears a lot of face paint as well. Yeah, I, I think I relate to a lot of things he says. You know, I think he's just a regular, everyday human being, and it, you he's know, like a relatable guy. He's a, a normal person, just like just like you. Yeah, yeah, and uh, you know, we have a lot of issues going on in this country, and nobody's addressing them. Yeah. You know, and things have gotten so bad. People, they're just not taking things seriously anymore, right? No, they're not. Madison Cawthorn said the people he looked up to in government were having orgies, cocaine-fueled right, cocaine, orgies. Yeah. Now, to me, I bet you that does go on, but he probably doesn't have evidence of it. Right. He might and have the proof. Do you we think anybody's going to invite him to these things anymore? <laughs> probably not. <laughs> so I mean, he's kind of on the outs now. He's I, probably not going to get... Get yeah, his invites. Would, yeah, poor guy. With the uh, England, with the Queen of England and her family is what I understand. They could be, uh, we could even go reptilian type people, maybe. And a reptilian, for, for the viewers that don't know, what is a reptilian? Uh, reptilian is like a ship, ship shaper, uh, shape, sh ship shaper. They, 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 can, they can change their, uh, uh, well, ship to uh, reptilian to, uh, to uh, human. You can see it in their eyes. You can see the evil. They I can change their ship to a, a reptilian. Well, ship shaped. Or what? What they are is uh, the, uh, ship, shaped? ship shipped. Shift shaped. Yeah, ship shapers. Yeah, they uh, they change their shape in their ship. They do that. So like a shape shifter. Yeah, that's what I meant to say. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Mm -hmm. uh, any other people out there uh, that we should know that are reptilians? Uh, well, you just look in their eyes. You see the dark. Whoa. You're looking. Are you part of the convoy? So people kind of came out from California, made their way out east, and now they're going back to California? Stopping at their local capitals along the way. And uh, what happens if there's a mandate back out east? Will they head back out east? Yep. 
And then if they get back out east and there's another mandate out west. We're going to keep fighting all over in every state capital across the country. And then if you got, you know, back out to California, say something comes up in Texas or, uh, you know, down in Florida, would you go there too? Yep. It'll end when the rightful president, Donald John Trump, is back in, in office. Okay, so potentially if Trump runs in 2024, he'd run and then he wouldn't be inaugurated until January of 2025. And that's so you guys could be driving around for years. It ain't going to happen. We're going to get something accomplished way before 2024. Okay. Why did you guys decide to come here and, and, and see Donald Trump today? Well, actually, we're not coming to see Donald Trump. We're coming to um, help, help one of the vendors. Oh, what happened? Did he get did he get robbed or something? No, we're just going to help him pass things out. Okay. What what are you what what is it? The Great Controversy. Oh, I've heard about that book. That's a book. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's What's a wonderful it? Book. What is it about? Uh, it's about the history and it's about current events and about what the future holds for us as human beings. Sounds like it's about literally everything. Yeah. It is. It is. But thank you. I better get. What was that? I said, I better get. Thank okay. you. Okay. All right. Thank you. Um, that's incredible. I can't believe that that happened. What an amazing situation to talk to somebody who wrote a book about fucking everything. That's fucking crazy. Uh, we'll talk to somebody on the phone. Who are you on the phone with right now? Uh, my husband. Oh, and uh, what's his name? Uh, Fred. What is it? Fred. Um, could you ask Fred what he thinks about the economy right now? What do you think about the economy right now? What do you think about Anthony Fauci? <laughs> oh my God, I can't even believe he made it this far. Uh, no, I just, the guy's gone. He's, he's in Gitmo. <laughs> so. <laughs> really? Who else is in Gitmo besides Anthony Fauci? You know, you got Hollywood there, you've got politicians, you've got elites. The Clintons are there, the Obamas are there, you know, um, it goes on and on. I don't want to be the one to sit here and, and misquote somebody or say something, but... You don't it, want to you say know. anything irresponsible. Exactly. How do you all feel about the events of January 6th? Uh, a lot of that was Antifa. Really? Um, yes. Why, why would Antifa interrupt the certification of an election in which their candidate w won. Wouldn't they want him to be certified? Uh, it just, it, they uh, just want to disrupt in any way possible. Do you, do you think, do you think uh, Antifa wanted him to be president? I guess is what I'm, what I'm asking. Yes. Yeah. So why would they interrupt the certification of the vote on January 6th? Well, it's, it's, if you, it's just like, if you have a... Yeah, it... It doesn't make sense, right? Like, why would they would do that? Well... The MAGA dance, M-A-G-A, here we go! Get your photo with the Trump Unity Bridge. 